I wanted to ask you about AJ. Uh, obviously, it seems like early every game um, he, he, uh, he goes down. Vrabel was joking about uh, he, he doesn't know if he just likes you guys all going on the field, giving him some attention. <laughs> um, but uh, inevitably, he comes back a couple plays later and, uh, and gets the job done, a 52-yard catch there late in the game. Wonder if he could speak to to the toughness he shows when we know he he's not a hundred percent running running those big routes. Well, you know, I tell you what, he's he's done a great job all year of kind of being resilient, you know, and being able to play through some of the things that uh, he's had to endure throughout the course course of the year. But I mean, I, the, he loves football. He loves football. He loves competing, and I think he displays that week in and week out. How hard is it to, to – uh, you've played. I'm sure you've, you've dealt with ankle injury, knee tweak, whatever, to get that out of mind and, and still run the, run the route and, and uh, find the speed to, to be yourself, even with that stuff going on. He said, I, I hurt later. Yeah, a lot of times uh, when we talk about mental focus, you know, a lot of times your focus kind of overcomes some of the stuff that hurts uh, because you're really just focused on doing your job. Uh, you understand that you're out there to compete and, you know, your opponent doesn't care that you, you're a little bit sore or you're nicked up. He, he could care less. So um, uh, you rely heavily on your adrenaline and just really your will to play. Really appreciate it, Rob. Hope you're well. You too. The troops will come en masse in a minute. <laughs> I'll see All right. you. We're going to hang out for a bit and see if anyone jumps over. Okay. Thanks. In the meantime, can you just talk about um, Corey Davis and kind of his season and kind of what he's been able to do throughout the course of the season as far as growth and just kind of um, his continued progress? Um, you know, I think Corey's done an outstanding job. we really kind of persevering, um, you know, through a lot of things this year. Um, you know, from uh, from obviously the death of his brother, who uh, who he loved dearly and was extremely close to, and um, and he just uh, became a father. So, um, you know, it's been some highs and lows for him, and I think he's done an outstanding job of kind of handling those things. Um, I just think, you know, the maturity and the growth that he's shown this year has been immense. Uh, when you think about, you know, when I think about uh, when I first got here to now, I mean, it's like night and day. Um, you know, he's a – a true professional. He's a pro. Uh, he prepares well. Uh, he plays hard. Everybody knows how tough he is. Um, but I think the the thing that gets um, you know, doesn't get talked about, you know, a lot is really just the things that he's overcome and and, and just the uh, some of the adversities and how he's willed himself through that and um, just the growth is, uh, is is been you know I've been fortunate to be a part of it and, and really be able to see him accomplish those things. And last season, he had a big game against Baltimore in the playoffs. He had that touchdown. Is there any um, carryover from last season to this season as far as um, his preparation and just kind of his expectations heading into this game? No, I, I, we approach it, you know, every – this is a week-to-week -week league. So every week is a little bit different. It's a different opponent. opponent. Um, you got different things that you got to prepare for. Um, so we'll just take the same approach as we always do. Um, and, but knowing it's going to be uh, – obviously, when you get to the playoffs, you know, you know, there are no layups, there are no days off. This is going to be a tough game for us, so uh, we're going to have to pick, prepare accordingly. John Glennon. Hey, Rob, how are you? Good, thanks. Good. Um, question for you about, uh, about Corey. I'm sorry if I'm, uh, it's already been asked, but uh, it's kind of an unusual um, – rough game for him last week and that he really had very few drops all year and had, had a couple there in the, in the game. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, you know, is it possible that maybe in the way back of his mind, there was that thousand yard, uh, you know, I know he was pretty close to the 1000 yard. Can, can that maybe have a, a tiny bit of impact in the game? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. I think he was just pressing, you know, overall wanted to play really well. Um, you know, it's his brother's birthday who had just passed away. So, he, you know, he's playing with a heavy heart. So, yeah, he was dealing with a lot uh, throughout that game. So, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, unfortunate, but uh, he's a pro and he'll bounce back from it. Yeah, I was, was going to say in, in regards to Corey, I mean, certainly incredible uh, effort for, for Corey and so forth. Always 
um, it, it does seem, at least from afar, like like maybe the, the confidence goes up and down a, a little bit with, with him. And I, I wondered if, if that's the case in, in your mind. And, and if it is, you know, how do you how do you uh, deal with that and, and kind of make sure to you know get him back in the in the right place? Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't see his confidence, uh, you know, waning, uh, ebbing and flowing from that matter. I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it really, I think this game for me was an anomaly. It was, it was something that, you know, if you look at his, really look at how he's performed throughout the year, he's really been pretty consistent for the most part. Um, obviously, in the beginning, he was working through some injuries or playing through some things. But, um, you know, I just, you know, he had a rough game and it, it happens. You know, it happens and um, he understands that, uh, we're fortunate that, you know, get another game uh, to kind of rectify things and, and, and put on a, a good performance. Do you mind if I ask any more? Is anybody else in line? Uh, or, or? Uh, Go for it. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, uh, yeah, and, and uh, again, in, in regards to, to Corey, um, you know, I, I can only imagine what the emotions have been like for him this season. You know, you mentioned his, his brother as well, and then, of course, had the, had the uh, baby daughter the other uh, week. You know what? What's uh, you know from dealing with him every day? How has he uh, you know dealt with all the the ups and downs that he's had to uh, this year? Uh, he he's handled it you know uh, remarkably. Um, I think um, you know anytime obviously when you you know when you when you're dealing with loss, um, you know there's a lot of emotions that come with it, and, and you know he's really done a great job of kind of trying to stay as even keel as possible. Um, you know I think. Uh, you know, he's fortunate. He's got a, he's got a great support around him, so uh, he knows that, that there's nothing that he can't ask for, and and, and and we'll do anything we can to help him in in regards to that. And uh, he has a strong support system at home uh, with his wife. So uh, you know he's done a great job of handling those things, and um, you know I think we're all proud of him in terms of the growth that he's shown this year, and 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 just really who he is as a man. Jim. And, and Rob, I know, um, you know, all your guys kind of deal with some adversity. I know AJ continues to kind of fight through injuries to play. How, how, he, how has he done that in your mind uh, and continue to have success as he, as he deals with pain and, and recovery? Well, I, I think, uh, you yeah, know, obviously the training staff, done, they do a great job of, of you, know, you know, getting him ready for the game so that he can go out and perform at a high level. Um, you know, just the way we practice, um, you know, Ray does a, a great job of, of, you know, kind of, you know, implementing the plan for him so we can, you know, we can get him to the game and, and so he feels great uh, when he's playing or at least as good as he can. So, um, you know, I think it's, it's some of it's the schedule, some of it's the work that he does uh, to prepare himself. And, you know, some of it's just, uh, you know, just being gritty and, and gutting it out. One last one for John Glennon. Rob, I'm full of questions for you today. Uh, um, <laughs> one, one last on uh, Arthur Smith, very hot name these days, obviously, in terms of speculation on, on coaching jobs. Uh, I wonder if you could just talk about what he's been like as, a, as an offensive coordinator uh, for you and, and if by any chance if, you, if you've learned a, a thing or two uh, working with, with Arthur. Uh, yeah, Arthur is extremely consistent in his approach. Um, he, he allows his position coaches to coach. Um, you know, he's he's a really good communicator. Um, you know, we pretty, he, he treat all the players the same. You know, I mean, the expectation doesn't change from one player to the next or from one coach to the next. So, um, you know, just just learn the consistency. Um, you know, and, and and really just learn from his approach. You know, in terms of how he studies and. Um, and, and formulating the game plans. Um, and, and the thing I, I love about him is, is, is he's open to input. You know, if you have some, you got some ideas and you want to bring them to the table, um, you know, he's more than welcome to, to sit down and listen to those. And, and um, so it's, a, it's really an open forum with Art. And um, he does a great job of communicating. And, and uh, I guess in that regard, uh, probably an understatement, but pretty impressive what Arthur and, and all of you guys have done with this offense over the past couple of seasons. Um, you know what? It's a testament to the players. You know, the players are bought in, um, you know, to the things that we're asking them to do. And, um, and because you could, have the, you could have the best design in the world, but the players don't buy in, you know, it's just, it's just drawings on a piece of paper. So those guys do a great job of bringing it to life and executing it 
And, um, you know, here we are. We're sitting uh, um, in a wild card game on Saturday or Sunday. That's right. Hey, Coach, we had a few more people jump in, so I'll have time for two more. Teresa? Uh, Rob, uh, sorry to come in late and sorry if you've already answered this, but with AJ's production, uh, what did he, what has he gotten better at in his second season? And wh what about him allows him, or how much is he pushing to keep improving? Well, AJ's, uh, he, he loves football. Uh, he, he, he's whatever his weaknesses are, he's going to work on those things. Um, you know, he's, you know, he's all, he always wants to know, you know, what do I need to get better at? And so it's never a question of, uh, of work with him. It's just a matter of whether his body allows him to do that uh, from week to week. Um, you know, I just think, you know, you know, with AJ, um, I think he's maturing. He's, he's a better pro this year than he was last year. Um, I think he understands uh, how to, you know, how to get himself through an NFL season, um, which is as a rookie, you have no idea. Um, and he kind of hit that rookie wall last year towards the towards the end. Um, so he's able he's been able to kind of sustain himself a, a lot better this year, just knowing what to expect and, and understanding how to get himself through an NFL season, be able to play at a high level from week to week. Last one, TD. Yeah, Coach Rob, looking at this this tandem that you have, it really seems like these guys are able to to play off of each other, where his coverage rolls, AJ Corey steps up, and vice versa. How impressive has it been, you know, seeing this duo come into their own the way that they have for you? Um, you know what? Those guys have worked extremely hard, man. And, and uh, you know, I tip my hat to both of them uh, for kind of buying in to, to, to what we're asking them to do. Um, you know, we ask these guys to do some dirty work, get in there. And they block linebackers. It's not all about just getting down the field, catching the ball. Some of the little things that kind of go unnoticed with those guys. Um, you know, that, uh, that you don't get, you know, on every team. So uh, I think we're fortunate from that aspect. But uh, I think the great thing about both of those guys, they go out and compete week to week. That's what they do. They go out and compete um, and uh, try, try to take advantage of every opportunity that they get.